Tuesday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afo Labi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. YK in the building. Good morning. Good morning. I know we've lost time for banter, so. Yes, so. Do we need banter right now? Banter mm -hmm. about. Well? Let's happy birthday to our former governor of Lagos State. Yes, so. Yes. Mr. Baba Tunde Raji Fashola. Happy birthday, birthday. Um, at 59. 59th birthday to be our action governor. Action governor. Action governor. Uh, He's a friend so of the house. Yeah. He's so young. I, I thought he was like 75. Was... What? Oh. <laughs> I'm just messing with him, but yeah. But he's a very, very active yeah. person, even uh, as a minister. I'm and in two good years. <laughs> yeah, he's oh, good. Oh, I mean, auntie. Imagine yeah, that. We didn't sis. even know. <laughs> That's true. Big That's sis. True. Yeah, big <laughs> sis. Yeah, so big sis. <laughs> yeah. So this time next year, he would have... He would have He'll uh, be 60. Yeah. 60, and he would have left office. True. So and easily have parry. So yeah. Would have, uh, no, no, they will still be... Okay, so yeah, they're so done. The hunger, they're 60. Under. BRF at 60. We'll we are going to be invited. Yeah, shutting down. Table for your view. <laughs> are you shutting it for him? We will, on his behalf, because things will shut down. If I trust for a governor, uh, governor Sawolu, he will shut down Lagos. Like, uh -huh. ah, ah, we have to celebrate. We have our to buga it. We have to buga it. <laughs> Hopefully, buga will still be trendy. Because <laughs> the whole of Lagos is in the buga. That's the only song in Lagos right now. How are you doing, I'm good. Grateful to God for life and celebrating a lot of people's birthday. Yesterday yeah. was Nia Desoya's birthday as well, and I was there to just breathe, breathe in and breathe out. Um, Celebrating life, you know. It's good. Important. Fantastic. Hi, there, Mariam. Fine. Good. Sure. Amazing. Okay, we might as well go into paper review because we lost Straight up. a lot of time. Let's start with the nation. Suspected memory disorder forced ex CJ and Tanko to quit. Um, CDS Irabo governors lack power to order arms bearing by, by citizens. It may feel like I and E window raked in $50 billion in three years. Police threatens Obasan jump for attacking Atiku. Tinumbu in France for talks. ICP to the positive recovered $220,965,000 with Central Bank. Okay, which story are we starting with? Okay, let me take the major headline. Um, so yesterday we all heard the breaking the news of the uh, Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJ Antanko Mohammed. He had resigned on health grounds, and Justice Olukayode Ariwo last um, he took over from him as acting CJN. So the story is that uh, he, um, the former CJN had been battling with. Uh, memory issues. Some have called it um, signs of dementia, that he was forget, uh, forgetting a lot of things, you know, and it was even affecting the process and work, you know. And so um, it was the best thing or the ethical thing for him to do. They said he had actually wanted to have resigned about eight months before, but um, it had to be done in such a way that there won't be um, destabilization. Um, they had to wait for um, this pres the acting CJN to to be able to take over from him. So even left to him, he would have left uh, about six months before, but he left now. But then there are different allegations up and down. People are saying that it looks a bit suspect, you know, that there are some allegations concerning him before. And maybe people should look at it. There was a protest also that had been submitted. Um, they said earlier in, in June, and um, it had to do really with how he was, he seemed to be um, overseeing, you know, overseeing the judiciary. But we'll, I think we'll see eventually if this is just purely a health issue or if there's something there's else. Okay, let me take the chief of defense staff story. So he was speaking yesterday, if you can recall, uh, Governor Matawale Hazamfar State had said that um, his citizens were authorized to bear arms. He was actually asking the commissioner for police in the state to um, distribute forms um, f to 19 emirates within the state to obtain guns for those who are willing to obtain guns. However, the CDS, that's the chief of defense staff, Lucky Rabo, has said that he doesn't have the right to do that. He said that um, this call was, it was wrong for him to do that and that he doesn't have the constitutional rights. He said Matale does not have the power to make such pronouncements. Um, he also said that um, this is something that can only be done through um, the president and not the governor. And, um, and, and he said that if I read this, I do not think also that the governor 
um, is authorized to issue such licenses. Neither does the, does the police have the power to issue such right licenses. It has to come from, from, the, from the Constitution that said that, according to him, the 99 Constitution only gives such power to the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, which is our President. And that's pretty much it. But uh, Matawala is insisting that the security in the state is such that they need drastic measures. And um, many would advise that he needs to sit down with the security operatives and the security agencies because everybody said, and I think I'd like to link that to a Penny Ferry story, saying that what we need is what we said yesterday, put state policing is what is required. That's the only way we can solve this problem. Well, I was, because it was going to be part of my banter, let me just quickly say it. Mm. You know, um, many years ago, when I was in my 30s, I think, or early 40s, I was opportune to fire a gun, you know. I, I was, you know, to actually really? fire a gun, yeah. And the reason... For play, right? For play, of course. And I would never... You know, the rush of power mm. that mm -hmm. I you felt, feel. the adrenaline, when you fire, you know, it, you, it, something goes into your head. So yeah, I just, just decided yeah. never to ever gotcha. go near a gun again. And so that is why when you're, they're asking people to bear arms, <laughs> we'll be killing each other like chicken. Mm. Yeah. Where we have road rage. Mm. <laughs> hey, it's right. like I, I would never sanction. Okay, let's take a moment more story in nature. Story ICPC, so the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission um, secured the approval to deposit $220,000 found in custody of, in the house of um, Alaji K. Sal, um, Mr. Kabiru Salau. Uh, Mr. Kab Kabiru Salau is the director and managing director of the company called K Salam Construction Company, which is a military contractor. And they, um, they were found to be, they were investigating them for money laundry. And they went to their Wuse 2 Abuja apartment and recovered items such as 175 billion naira, 220 Rolex, exotic cars, and all of that. And now the ICPC has gotten approval to deposit the, foreign, the monies with them mm. into the CBN account. And the spokesperson for ICPC was saying that their entire operations are, they are very transparent. They want to let people know that they follow the rule of law, the attack, where they searched the house, when it happened, and their investigation is still ongoing. And as they, they unfold, that they, they don't want media trial or the media frenzy going on right now. Okay. You should let ICPC do their job. All right. yeah, so I was quickly going to say that the um, PDP has t tackled the Basanjo over his anti article remarks. The, um, the BOT chairman, um, uh, Wa Wa Walid Jibrin, said that uh, Obasanjo made that statement and they are waiting for him to retract the statement or else they are going to open him <laughs> out to the public. <laughs> Did they say exactly what they were going to say about They didn't say exactly, but they talked about the um, third term. Mm. You know, the person just bid for third term at that time. It was because uh, uh, the, the reason for the fallout between Atiku and Obasanjo at that time was because Atiku didn't back his third, third term. term. So. Okay, moving on quickly to the punch. Supreme Court crisis. NBA wants ex CGL probe. Ari will last one in. Uh, workers demand autonomy. Three. 306,489 tested positive for HIV, HIV in 2021, says NACA. Lagos developers defraud 70 house seekers, victims faint. Amateko others, shoe transformed to state police, says Afeni Ferry. Two herders arrested for killing Lagos man over crushed cow. Jammed to probe CBT centers for extortion. Um, INEC registers 10.4 million new voters. Tinubu's men to woo party without presidential candidates and others. FG rakes in over two trillion naira for marginal oil field sale. Okay, which story are we taking in punch? Major okay. headline? Mm -hmm. Can okay. I take the, um, the Lagos developers? Oh yes, please, go ahead. Yes, um, Oluwa Shegun, Adewara, and one Okeru, they have gone into hiding after the, um, no, um, about 70 prospective tenants. Mm. Uh, <laughs> they all went to the house. Apparently, they had been renting the house to people. They only had 14 flats, but there were over 70. When they got everybody, there were over 70 of them. People were just fainting. To rent the same flat. Rent the same flat. They got there, you know, nobody to hand over the house to them. And, I mean, it was really... I think this is why we have this, um, the SA housing, as um, mm. Toke Benson. Uh, she's saying that, listen, there has to be some kind of portal. Yeah, that you're going to go and verify. 
Yeah. So don't pay to anybody you haven't verified. Go mm. to there. Go to is it Lacera, Lacera or something? This, yeah. this, this acronyms are so very these difficult to remember. But they, I know it's the the Ministry of Housing. To that house. They, they have a yeah, they have you that want to go and rent. Mm. Before you go and rent and pay somewhere, mm. they want to go and rent. Go and verify that they have the rights to the house. This is fraud. The man simply over, oversold, oversubscribed, so over, got, so, got <laughs> oversubscription for it, and it, it was a willful thing. So it's not mm. that it was illegal, illegal. To, for him to have collected it. He had it right. Somebody needs to arrest the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a fraud. So they've gone yes. into hiding. So the police are looking for them, and then the Lagos State Commissioner for Information has said that. Um, this is is this matter is described under the law and is very serious offense. Anybody to collect money from people and deny and to deny them. Mm. Okay, sure. let's take another story. Yes. Um, so yesterday was the National HIV Testing Day. It's celebrated annually, and um, we have some data from the National Agency for the Control of AIDS. They're saying that no fewer than 306, 489 persons have tested positive for HIV, and this is out of over 7 million persons that were tested in 2021. There's still so many, over a million that are, you know, receiving treatment. And really, it was just about reminding Nigerians about this infection. They were describing HIV, as we all know it, it attacks our immune system, prevents us from fighting diseases, and also that it was important to test, because in testing, then you can, you know, start the drugs that can help you live a healthy life and even, you know, live for a long time. And just also advising government to do the work of sensitizing people about the virus. Okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Um, God! Everybody knows, say, I be real person. Even for my acting. Now, original. Not be fake. Toyeti mama! And joke, my people. As my they see me so, I know they joke with anything where they bring rich flavor, totally nutrition, and great taste. Like my checkers custard make three in one. The Totorica, Bamba, and rich custard. Checkers custard quality, sure. My family, they know they take a piece. Can someone get this two out of my set now? Good thing good I beg. I no go lie. Mmm, this na custard. Checkers. Mmm, na custard be that. Nivea Natural Fairness is now Nivea Perfect and Radiant. Reveal your skin's natural radiance with Nivea Perfect and Radiant, enriched with berry extracts and UV filters. To reduce dark spots and even out your skin tone. For radiant and even toned skin, say hello again to Nivea Perfect and Radiant Body Lotion. Try the full Nivea Perfect and Radiant range to unlock your most radiant self. Introducing Globo, the app that delivers anything you want. When your bestie is over and you crave party jollof rice, or maybe a burger, order Globo and get your food delivered yum yum. When you're missing the right ingredients for your wonderful meal, order Globo. And while the ones you love, when the game is hot but you have run out of drinks, order Globo and be the real OG, the baddest guy, and save the day. Download the app, order Globo, and we will deliver. A mother's instincts are hardly ever wrong. She knows when all is not well. And she trusts M&B Paracetamol, the red one, to save the day. With fast-acting and effective M&B Paracetamol tablet, the red one, and its pleasant-tasting pineapple flavor syrup, she sends aches and pains far away from her family. M&B Paracetamol. Pain can't stop you. If symptoms persist after two days, consult your doctor. Does your toothpaste give you complete fresh protection? New Close-Up Toothpaste Complete Fresh Protection takes care of your five important oral care needs. It gives you strong teeth, prevents tooth holes, cleans deeply, fights bacteria, and gives you fresh breath. Complete fresh protection from close-up. Sciences, Unimed, in Ondo City, Ondo 
Estate. It's not just the first specialized medical and health sciences university in Nigeria. It is the best ground for training in the health profession and medical sciences with outstanding products. I had to enroll at another institution before coming to Unimed, and I can tell you in terms of facility, affordable costs, uninterrupted academic calendar, University of Medical Sciences blew my mind. In just seven years of its founding, the National Universities Commission, NUC, ranks UNIMED best among medical and health sciences university in Nigeria, fourth best state university, and 19th overall best in Nigeria in 2021. UNIMED, proudly Nigeria's first specialized medical and health sciences university. <coughs> Why? Daddy is coughing, Gina is coughing, so I just ran for a cover. Uniplex cough syrup contains ammonium chloride, diphenhydramine hydrochloride, sodium citrate, and menthol crystals to give you relief from sore throat, cold, and chesty cough. Daddy, are we safe now? Yeah. Uniplex cough syrup. Cage the cough, free your voice. Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing Punch. Um, so I was going to take the story concerning INEC. INEC was given a report yesterday that 10.4 million additional Nigerians have currently registered in the ongoing registration process. Um, according to them, according to INEC, um, we have almost a 50-50% where we have 4.2 million males and 4.3 million females. And um, about 60% are young people, are youth who have come to vote, who have come to register. And it says about um, over 3 million voters um, registered online, but 5.3 registered physically. And we're saying that collectively with, within 14 countries, like a total of 14 countries, uh, we have the, the, the large, I'm not sure why that was important, but he said that um, we've registered 11 million more voters in a, um, compared to 14 countries in West Africa. But that's important, but import, we have more of a question, obviously, but just, well, to, just to highlight the fact that Nigeria is such an important um, country in the scheme of things that we must ensure that we have a free and fair yeah. election. So we, we must ensure that and, he, and he's assuring his, uh, his visitors peaceful. that we're going to ensure we have a peaceful if election. If goes to war like this, the whole of Africa will die. Alone. Yes, now, so we have to ensure that. So, but he has said it categorically that it's the Nigerians themselves that will determine who becomes the next president because obviously we have lots of voting. 84 million registered voters today. Hmm. So we have no reason not to vote. Hmm. In the minimum, we should get 50 million people. In the minimum, come in the minimum. I think okay. we'll come out this year. I think next so. Year. I really do think so. I really do They're so. They're tired. <laughs> okay, Daily Sun. Untold story of CGN's resignation. Comments on Atiku, PDP BOT chair tackles OBJ, threatens to expose ex president. Oshun Guba, Bayelsa Governor's heads PDP 128 member campaign council. Insecurity worsening under your watch, Southern and Middle Belt leaders tell Buhari. Nigeria needs state police, not self defense, is Akiri Dulu. Insecurity worsening under your watch, Southern and Middle Belt foreign leaders. I just said that. They, okay. they, they mentioned the story again as. <laughs> and um, APC denies budget is 6.5 trillion to compromise INEC and buy votes. Okay, which story are we starting with? I'll take that. So the APC, or Progressive Congress, has denied this document that had, you know, that it's in circulation. The, <laughs> the document is described as leaked APC 2023 election document. And in the document, it says something about the party raising 6.5 trillion naira in order to sway the electorate to vote for their own candidate, and that it involved paying of INEC, their staff, security operatives, judicial officers, and some really elaborate, um, you know, plan. Um, so the um, National Publicity Secretary said, first of all, we do not author it, 
we don't own that um, document. It does not make sense. Like, this is clearly a job of, of course, they call the opposition party PDP. This is a party that already is used to looting. That. That's why they can even think of any party uh, putting together 6.5 trillion naira for something, um, you know, as ridiculous as this. That this is a country that its budget is 17 trillion. That's about half the nation's budget that they are claiming they have to do this and that for them they want to let the to let nigerians know that their party is focused on delivering the dividends of democracy and that they hope in the hope that they will reciprocate by supporting and voting their candidates to do it legally and the way that is meant to do, uh, meant to be done and that's all okay so the southern i'm not sure you already have that story you have yeah, that story we moved, the southern and middle belt leaders forum have once again like many others declared that insecurity across the nation is getting worse under this present administration. Mm. They didn't really say anything different. Is this yeah, a, is the, is the same was, thing? Yeah, and they are, they are condemning in strongest terms um, what happened in St. Francis and all war. They are con condemning the fact that 40 people were killed. And the truth is that that is across the country. Different people, pre yeah. various priests, uh, families are losing their loved ones. So are talking about the, the Abuja train attack victims yes. still in so custody. So they are only yeah. just lending their voice to reminding well, the federal government that more needs to be done. The, the only thing I wanted to highlight was what I think you already mentioned it that the former, the current governor of the, the chairman South Southern Nigeria Governors Forum and the Odo State Governor was reiterated that what we need is state policing yeah, and not taking, um, taking arms. So you've already mentioned that. That's why yeah, I said the story yeah. you saw. The same story. Think, okay, is there a way we can be mentioning every day about these train victims? They should release yeah. these people now. So they, they, I mean, there was. It's so sad really that it's those that don't have money that are still there. Because yeah. the people that had money had paid recently, their way some people, out. Some people recently yes, paid their people, people, people paid their way out. Them, that was a week ago. And then so. there was a little bit of exchange at some right That's how we keep again. forgetting about yes. That's what happened with them. It's Chibok. Chibok. Mm -hmm. Many years now, now eight years now. Mm -hmm. yeah. The girls are, are escaping themselves after yeah. they've been mm -hmm. married and had, had children, you know. So I think, yes, Leah Sha Sharibu, Sharibu, nobody talks about it. And we need to continue to put their names out there. Vanguard, citing ill health, CGN quits after row with Supreme Court justices. Let's find a story we've not taken. Nigeria's secularity has virtually collapsed. This is Cardinal Naika. Um, Hertzman killed bus conductor in Lagos after a car dies in accident. Ahmed Gula and Imo police arrest suspected killers one year after. Organ do not claim Ikori Madu wife sue NIMC and NIS others. Uh, PDP gives Obasanjo 48 hours to clarify remarks on Atiku. 2023, APC disowns Kirkman linking 6.5 trillion to rigging plants. Nobody took the CGN story. What? No, no, no. We took the first story. That was the first story. I do apologize. So I want to, you still reading. Go ahead. So I wanted to take the story of update on Equity Um Okay. Um, they've already. No, continue. They've already gone to take the case to court. The request from the Equity Madus is that the NIMC, that's the. Um, um, the National Identity Management Commission who, that they hold our names should release the certified true copy of the biodata form of David Upo, who is the person who was supposed to donate his kidney and who is the one that is saying they took him, um, he's being enslaved mm -hmm. in UK. Mm -hmm. They also requested for the certified true copy of the details of this person when he was opening his account. So they requested from the bank, they requested from immigration, they requested from the NIMC, and all of this is to help prove their own innocence in the case they, that the U UK government has brought against them at the Oxbridge um, Magistrate Courts. So uh, probably when they gather all of this information, it will help them prove their defense. In the, in, um, the Sun newspaper, Ohaneze spoke to um, con conversation that people felt that Ohaneze did not support and he said that is, nobody needs to tell us what to do, that we are Igbo, um, the Apex Igbo group and we support our people. We don't rush into making statements until we get all the facts right and that their hearts is with um, Sonia Ikwerimadu and they're praying for recovery and um, vindication of... So they just need to plot, as I said, we, they, it's they clear, need proof. We, we need evidence. So mm. it's not about just things on social media talking about it. Mm. Nobody needs to ensure they provide it. So that is what they've done now. So the no, they've got to get, get all his... Certified true copies. Yeah. 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 Of but that will only prove that he's not... 
younger, age. yes, but the, then we did yes, also slavery put, part, of course. Consent, yes. the consent, the consent part. That's how they prove that. Uh, we, but yeah, they prove that he lied. So that he prove that he lied. Yes. And if he can lie about his age, I question he can lie about other things. A good lawyer would just. They agreed. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hassle-free, everything. I mean, here is so, so, so peaceful. We sleep like a baby here. Thank God also, Adon has built a police post somewhere I didn't around it. The greatest thing that I enjoy so far now is, I mean, I have, I mean, on the top, top power supply. Adron is true to his word. It's a friendly organization. I mean, professional. I can recommend Adron to anybody. This is a place to be. This is the next cash cow for people. Adron Homes, making the incredible affordable. They'll be here on time. Right on time! Your loved ones will rush home for tasty meals prepared with Sonia Tomato Mix. Yummy! Times two! It's so good eating together with the family. Thanks to Sonia. Sonia Tomato Mix brings you together. Are you aware that your perfect family may be under threat by germs? Germs can cause infectious disease. These infectious diseases are amongst the biggest killers of adults and children. Illness causing germs are everywhere. In unclean bathing water, on your clothes, dirty surfaces, on cuts and wounds. To protect your family from germs, use the power of Dettol's One Cap Full. In your bathing water, for your laundry, for surface cleaning, for first aid, and to protect your family from up to 100 illness causing germs. Be Dettol Shore. You clean your teeth every morning, but that fresh breath feeling just doesn't last. The answer? Easy. You keep your teeth strong and healthy and give your mouth long-lasting fresh breath with new Oral-B 2-in-1 toothpaste. It helps strengthen your teeth and gives you long-lasting fresh breath. So fresh, still fresh, and still fresh. Stay strong, stay fresh. New Oral-B toothpaste for strong teeth and long-lasting fresh breath. At the first sign of pain, you need a solution that you can trust. Try Panadol Caplet. With Panadol's Optizol formula, the tablet absorbs quickly and starts providing fast and effective pain relief you can trust. Try Panadol Caplet. Thanks for staying with us. So Sunday, 26th of June, was International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. In commemorating that day, we have with us a spokesman for the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, Mr. Femi Baba Femi. Good morning, sir. Thanks for joining us. Hello, Mr. Baba Femi, are you there? Hello, Mr. Baba Femi, are you there? Okay, it seems like we're having some connection issues. So recently, obviously, the issue of drug abuse addiction has been on the front burner. Many, many have been talking about how we can stop, especially our youngsters. It's, it's always like the easiest pastime for these young teenagers. You know, they go out, you want your children to be independent, but yes, you're still worried about them getting into illicit drugs. And then trafficking. Mm. You know, although the Aquamarado story is not about... Um, um, well, they're still investigating, that was, that was, but the, the conversations around trafficking, hard trafficking, organ trafficking, um, drug, drug trafficking, trafficking, all these conversations keep coming up when you hear these kind of things. So, and I just saw a story that I think was it YK that sent a video this morning of Morocco. We're not, we're not, I'm still waiting to confirm the story, but people that were stopped from entering the border to, into Spain, mm -hmm. detained somewhere, injured somewhere, massacred, and these are all the conversations that come up in times like this: trafficking, moving, moving people. Moving. Legally to different countries oh. illegally. So, um, would really, really like to hear Mr. Baba Femi's um, perspective on the board. What are your own thoughts? I'm, 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 I'm still I, like I am shocked that people still fall for help me carry this thing abroad. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked that people still fall for it. Uh, people still think that there's a way, there's a high way of packaging these drugs that you ingest it, and nobody will detect it. Like, they've caught people. We read it in the papers all the time, and they'll be like, Andy, hey, it just told me I should just help them carry this package. And, like, you know it is drugs, but they convinced you that they have a superior way of packaging it, that it will go undetected, and they are offering you money not for, for you to put your life at risk, you know? And people still fall for it because they are just so desperate for money. 
And it it just, you also fall for, you can make you rich when you travel abroad. Yes. Follow me. Somebody can come and meet someone and say, okay, your son would become yes. a... I'll, I'll do papers should, for them. I don't know why we still fall for these things. Because sometimes we don't just want to dig down and do the hard work. We want a shortcut. We want to get from, oh, I don't have any money. Just, I'll give you a visa. Mm -hmm. Just carry this thing and go. And the next time you come back, you're a millionaire. We just want that shortcut. And that, sometimes I get tired of discussing it. I feel like we've said this thing so many times. It you. should be obvious to everyone that don't do it. Don't carry drugs. Don't do drugs. We saw the two couple naked walking. They said they did something called mm. Colorado. People are, people are actually dying from that thing. There's someone, we were having a conversation, and Percy said there's, his friend has a major injury on his head. Because when they smoke that thing and they do too much, they just keep hitting their head. on. He was Imagine. hitting his head on the wall. There was major blood. People were now holding him back. All because you are taking a drug. What exactly are you doing to yourself? We really need to be talking about these things enough for people to get scared for their life and not try drugs. Hmm. Well, how, how difficult is that, Maryam? Because we, we see people take these drugs and some of them are billionaires. Ah, okay. yes, they're doing yeah. well. They're they are like Jesse. You know, you're thinking to yourself, ah, if he can do it, me too, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the Everybody's problem. Head is Many different. times... Many times when people hear about drugs the first time is the glamorized mm. story about it. Oh, it's for artists and the creatives. Yeah, That's yeah. what they need. And when they do it, everything comes rushing to their brain. So those sort of things are what they find. That's what first attracts people. Mm. Then they find themselves doing it, and then you're addicted. And the side effects or the negative effects yeah. of that drug taking now hits you. And at that point, you're addicted. You are far, you are, you know, you are gone too far yeah. into this yeah. habit. But you know, that taking of that drug is one thing. My own is, I'm really concerned for NDLA and the fact that I know it's a success story constantly when we see um, the raids that they do, the arrests that they make. But I'm saying it must be so widespread, so mainstream, so endemic that it's something you. You are, you are able to make arrests every day, meaning that it's just everywhere. Yeah. And I would, if we can get um, the spokesperson back, I hope you know, that they, they are getting all the support that they need to fight, this, to fight this war, because I just feel that it may be overwhelming. Like, right. who do you trust? Who exactly. is it that is doing it? And all the people that are involved, especially at the high level, the cabals, the, mm. um, what do you call them, that, that bring them in in large quantities. How are you able to really follow up in prosecuting them and making sure that justice is... I know, think those are the main, main people. Because what you do with the people who use the mm -hmm. drugs, is you send them to rehab because, okay, they have become addicted. So it's how to um, clean them up. Mm -hmm. But it's the, the sellers, go -go, the main... Cabal. The, the cabal or the, the drug... The drug barons, yes. they call them the barons. barons. Yeah, those are the people, because those are the dangerous people. Those are the people that when you cross them, they kill you. Yes. Yeah. Those are the people that they control. They control. I mean, can you remember, um, I think about a month ago, there was this guy, businessman, who was arrested by NDLA in Abuja. Yes. And he has this huge... Network. Uh, he's a pharmaceutical. Yes. And he has this long CV. He's been in business for so long, but he, but and allegedly, what doing, yes. Uh, allegedly, yes. yes <laughs> is selling this. Listen, drugs. The, the, Tramadol. Tramadol. Uh, there's another one, Rufinol, Rufinol or something. Yes. You know, and it's it's uh, like an epidemic in our society Absolutely. now. Yes, it is. I'd really like to go on a break because it's important for... The reason why we're having this conversation is because we want to get an update from the NDLA on what they're doing, especially to commemorate the, um, <clears throat> the, 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 the day on Sunday um, against drug abuse and drug trafficking. Uh, I would like to go on a quick break. When we come back, hopefully we'll have our guests join us. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Introducing Glovo, the app that delivers anything you want. When your bestie is over and you crave party jollof rice, or maybe a burger, order Glovo and get your food delivered yum yum. When you're missing the right ingredients for your wonderful meal, order Glovo. And while the ones you love, when the game is hot but you have run out of drinks, order Glovo and be the real OG, the baddest guy, and save the day. Download the app, order Glovo and we will deliver. 
Guy, I make a run, use your phone, Jari. Guy, why do you do your glow line now? Ah, Baba, calm down now. Not be this NIA and Wala, they give me stress. They don't even block my lines. But now, glow NIA league is simple pass now. Eh? Yeah, simple. Just dance star. Once they run my hands, take away to do. See? Take, give my phone. Hey, what if I don't get NIM before? Simple. Just go any glow word now. Once you go get your NIM, yeah. Eh? Yes. Guy, I get plenty guys who don't link their NIM no. until now their phone still get blocked. Tell them when they go any glow word now. Once they go block their line. Eh? Yes, now. Nah. Hey, no, I know I'll make use your own phone for now. I go start my own later. Guy, talk plenty talk. You know, say when I link my line, glow that me plenty bonus. Eh? Yes, now. Nah. And when you link your own line, glow it that you up to 20,000 Arab bonus. 20,000? Yes, so 20,000 Arab bonus. Yo, fam. Take a phone. Remove! Yes! And they're gonna lick my NIA! This bonus now for both new and existing customers, so. Good afternoon, Oga. Now you be the landlord. Yes, Nami. Oga landlord, me go need one room for this your house, so. Okay, sure you get work where you did do. Yes, I'll be nice. You know go they owe me be that now. Now how much be your rent safe? Not just 90,000 naira. Uh, wait, oh. This guy, where you come from, Seth? Ah, uh, Oga, okay. I come from Akamata. Uh? Akamata, no talk him again. My spirit and Akamata people know they ever join. Oga, okay, what's happen now? Nah? Come out for my compound. That's also Baba thing that people sabi do for that Akamata. Come out for here. How about Papa? What did this innocent girl do you now? Now people like you, they spawn Nigeria, Papa. I think you don't see him now. My people, they talk, say Jollof rice. We did for bottom pot today. Go the top of Kula tomorrow. As I take need you now, so you self need me. Because now one mama we get, we be Nigeria. Make we love ourselves. Because now only together we go fit to make our country better for us and our children them. One heart plus one love equals better Nigeria. Now the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, with support from the UK government, they bring now this message. Babies cannot speak. All they do is cry whenever they're sick. When your baby is going through aches, fever or pains, allergic cough, including discomfort associated with teething pains, treat your baby with Bonababe Syrup. Bonababe is manufactured by Bond Chemical Industries Limited, available in pharmacies near you. If symptoms persist after three days, consult your doctor. I use it for you when you're a baby. It's been a long day, and nothing could feel better than sleeping comfortably. So relax, you won't be bothered by leakage or irritation tonight. Huggies Dry Comfort has a super fast dry layer that quickly absorbs wetness for all night dryness and comfort. So baby can wake up comfy and dry as the night before. And you keep doing great, mom. Now in a new look pack, available from 650 Naira. And um, God, everybody knows say I be real person, even for my acting. Now original, not be fake. Toy the mama, and just my people, as my they see me so, I know they joke with anything where they bring rich flavor, total real nutrition, and great taste. Like my checkers custard make three in one. The Totorica, Bamba, and Rich Custard. Checkers custard quality, sure. My family, they know they take a pee. Can someone get this two out of my set now? Good thing, good, I beg. I no go lie. Mmm, this na custard. Checkers, mmm, na custard be that. Bye, Mom. He's going to play in this weather. Uh-huh. Why did you let him go? He might fall ill. And if he doesn't go out for practice, how will he win more trophies? To protect our family from illness-causing germs during the rainy season, we use Dettol soap every day. Dettol with germ defense gives you protection. Rainy season brings a lot of germs. And Dettol soap's germ defense protects you from up to 100 illness-causing germs. Dettol soap is endorsed by the Nigerian Medical Association. Be Dettol sure. Thanks for staying with us. We're still speaking on the issue of drug
um, trafficking. And we have with us the spokesperson for NDLE, Mr. Femi Babafemi. Good morning, Mr. Babafemi. Are you there? Very well. Thank you. Good morning. Good, good, to, and good to have you on the show. On the show. So we'd like to Thank get from an update from you concerning your work against drug trafficking and illicit um, um, trafficking in Nigeria. Well, um, so far it's been um, very good and um, working according to plan. Um, in the area of our uh, supply control, that is the area of our drug supply control or reduction, um, so far in the last um, 17 months, thereabouts, we've been able to take out of circulation uh, more than 17,000 um, drug offenders, those trafficking drugs. And um, at the same time, within the same period, we've been able to get over 11,000 persons who uh, abuse drugs, also to counsel them as well as getting treatment for those um, that needed treatment among them. Uh, majority of these are through um, briefing, what we call brief interventions. Then in addition to that, we've been able to take also out of circulation uh, more than 3.5 million kilograms of assorted illicit drugs, uh, over 500 hectares of cannabis farms, destroyed um, in deep forests across the country. And uh, beyond that, we've also been able to get uh, about 3,000 uh, 3, persons uh, convicted and jailed in the law court. Now, that's as far as uh, our drug supply reduction activities. Now, coming to the drug demand reduction, which uh, brought us on advocacy, um, getting help for the sick, that is um, those um, uh, who abuse drugs, as well as um, preventive measures. We've also uh, giving a good account of ourselves in this regard, and uh, we're actually upping the game at the moment through various uh, initiatives and interventions, starting with uh, the war against drug abuse, WADA, that was launched in Abuja by President Buhari in exactly this time last year, which uh, was actually meant to mobilize uh, Nigerians to buy in and take ownership of the war against drug abuse, and we're seeing the results of that. Uh, quite a number of um, non-governmental organizations, traditional institutions, religious organizations, community-based organizations, as well as um, faith-based organizations, all of them, and the individuals, well spirited individuals have also bought into this, right. and also helping to cascade um, the, 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 the campaign down to the local government communities and the grassroots. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beyond this, we are also advancing Sir, I just want Are to... you saying something? Yes, yes, please. I would like to know... Okay. I would like to know how you would categorize it. Would you say, or oh, um, let's say if you were to give us, like, in a year or two years, just to compare, would you say that we have people involved less in providing or supplying drugs? Would you say they are less? Because I understand you catch them, you lock them up, but do you have more people coming in or can you see a significant reduction in the number of people that are involved in this crime? I understand what you are saying because um, the line is faint. But then if I understand what you are saying, you are asking if um, uh, on the comparative analysis, if there have been uh, more people uh, trafficking or abusing drugs or uh, less. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, you got it. Yes, go ahead. Ooh. We lost, we lost, we lost that call. We're having network issues. Yeah. So hopefully we can reach him back. So um, I, I read just a few days ago, um, I think it was on the 21st of June, I took the story in the papers about um, the forthcoming sensitization training on drugs prevention, treatment and care for governor's wives to let the wife support the effort because while we many governors wife first ladies have their pro pet projects and including um drugs awareness and 
including a drive for drug reduction in consumption might help a lot. I also read in that same report about how the NDLEA intends to create this um, in partnership. They want, to create, they want to create this center where people can get rehabilitated as well. I think that um, there's a push and pull. Um, the glamorous life or the fact that, oh, you get so creative, you have free, pull people into drugs. But what will push them away from drugs is the gory pictures of when people go crazy with drugs. We need to have more of those pictures go viral. And, and sometimes it is so distasteful to watch and sometimes scary to watch when you see people rolling on the floor. There was this time that there was, some, there was a video, I think they took something green and their mouth was all green and then they were displaying some those videos go viral. I think we need to have those more of those videos being publicized so that we can then show children this is this can happen to you. You might think you have capacity, you can look at yourself and your friend, and your friend does it, and you do it, and you go crazy, and your friend is still sane. Because we need to let these children know that it doesn't work. Mm. You know, it really doesn't work. I really like they are the ones taking these things, the young ones, a lot of those young ones are I taking I wonder it. when you say you lock them, lock them up where? You see the same prisons that we don't have enough? No, so no, no. You, you, they, they don't they bring, lock up the use, they, using. So, okay, I'm, I'm told he's back. Oh. Mr. Baba Femi, are you there? Hello? Hello, sir? We're having some really network. We really need him to answer Mariam's question. Hello, sir, are you there? Okay, so we might have to just find another time to bring him on. Unfortunately, mm. we have to wrap up on this. Mikey, your final words on this. Let me, let me wrap up. Um, I was just, because I dread that the, um, the your girl of NDLA, he is yeah. fighting for more institutions where you can take the kids yes. to rehab, uh, into rehab. And that is where he says we need at least three per state. And I, I kind of agree with that, that, you know, once you are hooked, you need rehab yes. to, most people need to, once they are hooked on these drugs, so. There are rehab centers, you know, just that I mean, some of them are not very, very well known. Yeah, expensive and I think they have. the private. And, and I think one of the complaints NDLA is saying that even though there are others, but they are not well equipped mm. to do the job properly. I heard of somebody, so you know, I don't know, yeah, that, 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 that the teenager was taken to a rehab center somewhere in the outskirts of Lagos, and the person is still there, but he's getting better. So, mm -hmm. so there, are, there are places, just that yeah. maybe they're not yes. well known. So they said there are just a few that they can sort mm. of put their stamp of approval I, I think on. 11. I know we have like a traditional way of doing this, where they almost abuse them physically, you know, mm. yeah. and all that, yeah. yes, and tie them up and pray. And that's wrong. So, yes. Okay, unfortunately, we have to wrap up on this way. We couldn't get um, the Hope spokesman back because we're having issues with him. Hopefully, we'll bring him back another time because it's important for us to monitor this story. A lot of teenagers are falling um, prey to this um, yeah. cartel, the barons. They get them on the streets, you know, and, and this, the attrition we see in schools is because these kids drop off to become um, self-trafficking drugs. So mm. you go to you, you start school as a primary school level, and gradually, as you're getting into the, the GSS one, they're going to take the primary six, entering GSS one. You, you see that you see that attrition because many of them go into drugs. They're not old enough to learn one trade or the other, and from there they start getting on the streets, and they don't go to secondary schools. So our primary schools are loaded, but the secondary schools are fewer. So it's just it's just a lot of um, uh, uh, need we need a lot of support to help governments to to bring this. Um, to bear. Let's go on a break now. When we come back, we move on to another topic or bring in another guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Bye, Mom. He's going to play in this weather. Uh -huh. Why did you let him go? He might fall ill. And if he doesn't go out for practice, how will he win more trophies? To protect our family from illness causing germs during the rainy season, we use Dettol soap every day. Dettol with germ defense gives you protection. Raining season brings a lot of germs. And Dettol soap's germ defense protects you from up to 100 illness causing germs. Dettol soap is endorsed by the Nigerian Medical Association. Be Dettol Show. Sure. How this layout will be now, my brother? Big guy, you need to work with this test. Okay. Very cool business now. Oh. Yes. Just bring all the thousand. Oh, no, no, no. You better invest in real estate. Revolution Plus property is giving their customers extra, extra figure this wow. time. That's so cool. If you deposit as low as 100,000 okay. naira on any of your landed properties, right. hey, Revolution Plus property will give you a very big crowd. Wow. And plenty gifts wow. to 
enjoy yourself in this Elenja Island. It's bigger. It's extra. It's extravagant. Revolution Plus Property Ilenja Extravagant Promo. Buy any of our landed properties, deposit as low as 100,000 Naira, and get a bag of rice, gas cooker, ram, and all the fantastic gifts. What are you waiting for? Promo runs from June 16th to July 31st, 2022. Terms and conditions apply. Let me have go out buy my own. Why is that me? Revolution Plus Property. Affordable housing. <coughs> you two fools. Why? Daddy is coughing. Gina is coughing. So I just run for a cover. Uniplex cough syrup contains ammonium chloride, diphenhydramine hydrochloride, sodium citrate, and menthol crystals to give you relief from sore throat, cold, and chesty cough. Daddy, are we safe now? Yeah. Uniplex cough syrup. Gauge the cough, free your voice. Nivea Natural Fairness is now Nivea Perfect and Radiant. Reveal your skin's natural radiance with Nivea Perfect and Radiant, enriched with berry extracts and UV filters. To reduce dark spots and even out your skin tone. For radiant and even toned skin, say hello again to Nivea Perfect and Radiant Body Lotion. Try the full Nivea Perfect and Radiant range to unlock your most radiant self. Are you aware that your perfect family may be under threat by germs? Germs can cause infectious disease. These infectious diseases are amongst the biggest killers of adults and children. Illness causing germs are everywhere. In unclean bathing water, on your clothes, dirty surfaces, on cuts and wounds. To protect your family from germs, use the power of Dettol's One Cap Full. In your bathing water, for your laundry, for surface cleaning, for first aid, and to protect your family from up to 100 illness causing germs. Be Dettol Shore. I know they worry, cause I know, say you did by my side. No matter what I do, you love me unconditionally. You show up for me every day. No matter where sin I show you, you show me love. Thanks for staying with us. So joining us on the show is the President Nigeria Internet Registration Association, NIRA, Mr. Mohamed Rudman. Uh, welcome to the show, sir. Thank you so much, Mariah. Thank you. When I heard NIRA, I'm like, another Nigerian organization, another way to chop money. <laughs> every, every little thing, they start an organization, they put a president, before you know it, they say they have a budget. So what is this organization for exactly? Because we have so many other, we have NCC, we have others around that internet, and why, why, what's, what's your, what's your uh, um, agency about? Um, thank you so much for that question. Honestly, we are, we are not a government agency. Oh, good. <laughs> Just so that you oh, know. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, we have a, an MOU, of course, with government uh, called the National Information Technology Development Agency, but NIRA is a not-for-profit organization, ah. a membership-based organization, so you can become a member and you can be in this same position that I'm here. Ah, in. Oh. Uh, so we, we don't receive money from government. Ah, good. And uh, because the, it's a business, 
selling of the brand, the .ng. Nira are the custodians of the .ng. So oh. .ng is called the um, country code top level domain for Nigeria. You have .uk for, for UK, .za for um, uh, South, South Africa. Africa and all the rest. So oh. for Nigeria, it's .ng and it's a multi-stakeholder organization that are supposed to drive this because it's part of it is government, part of it is the private sector. It's a kind of a public private partnership. So why would it why is it necessary? What does a dot ng mean? What does it what are the benefits to having a dot ng? So so you see a, a lot of people ask this question. It's our own online identity. When what defines you to be a Hausa man or a Yoruba man or an Igbo man is just the name, the identity. But we are all proud of our own tribes and culture. The same thing with the dot ng. Technically there is no difference between dot ng and dot com, dot net, and every other top level domain, technically. Why aren't you late to the party? I mean, we've been dot coming for years. You're late to the party. You are We're all going to use to the dot com. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. They have the first mover advantage. They were yeah. the, the beginning yeah. of the internet. Yeah. It's, you know, VeriSign is the American company that is managing the dot com, and it's an American company that started from the inception of the internet. So, of course, they have the first mover advantage. It's over the years that CCTLDs were created, that is for other countries. They use an ISO standard um, for, for the two character for each of the countries of the world. And it took time for other countries to adopt their own. In fact, as we speak, some of the African countries are still struggling to adopt their own brand. So in Nigeria, we're not really late because of their first entrance of .com, almost all the available names are already gone. taken, are oh. gone. They have over 100 million registrations. So the opportunity here is you have the names local, and if you have a trademark, you have a registered company in Nigeria, and someone registered that, you can sue him who's within your jurisdiction, and Nira can ah, give it back to you. Ah, I like that one. Yes. Fantastic. So, so, so you, can, you can take it back. Somebody registered tvc.ng, for example, of course, Nira will automatically hand it over yeah. back to you. But if he registers tvc, dot ng, I mean dot com, Count. it's Count. out of the question, Count. you can't. Absolutely. Aha, when government wanted to register inara, I think someone else registered inara dot com. Mm. So the availability of those names that's is what's that compelling, I like that. Yeah. Okay, for instance, I have um, a website for federation.net. We couldn't get dot com because somebody else I take registered it, it Correct. and then tried to sell it back to us. And Correct. No yeah, way. Exactly. So, if I say, let me leave .NET and go to .ng, what are the benefits I would get from so, so, so going to .ng? First is the availability of the name. And in .ng, we, we discourage domain squatting. You buy a domain, you hold mm -hmm. it, waiting for someone else to come and buy it from you. Immediately, ah. you register a brand coming on, on, on board, government or anything. You can register on that .com, but on that .ng, we discourage that. And as long as you can prove it's yours, you have a registered company or you have a trademark, we automatically give it back to you. So the availability is there. No, what I'm saying is, if I, can I leave .NET, would it benefit me to leave .NET and go to .NET? Yes, so, so one of the benefits is that search engine optimization when you're using Google and all that. And most of the companies that are registered in Nigeria, 80% of the traffic they want people to view are from within the country, right? Yeah. So if you register .ng, you are ranking on the internet goes higher, especially oh. within the Nigerian oh. viewers. If you are a global company, of course, I can say you can go for a .com, but most of the companies that are registered in Nigeria are more focused within the country. So oh, um, nice. that is one of the, one of the, one of the advantages. And um, I, 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 we said the other one is the availability of the name, as I mentioned. I like the fact that we can come to you just because this happens a lot, a lot of times. <laughs> so you, you, you want to register a, a, a yenikuti.com and somebody has taken it. But because it's a Nigerian domain, I can call Mr. Mohammed and say, you know what? Uh, uh, this is, you know, this is mine. NG. I, I want it back. Somebody else has the yenikuti. Yeah, the best is the yenikuti. Yes, you can I like that. Fantastic. Yeah. So, 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 so oh, that, that, is, that is that, yes. Yeah, clear. Okay. <laughs> so I wanted to ask concerning the cost because I'm someone, good idea is taking my money every yeah, like I have like six domains that I'm paying for. I have dot school, dot com. Um, I have a dot ng, but I just um, want you to talk about the costing because for many people they look at it in terms of dot co for me was because it was cheap, it was the cheapest dot co. Correct. So my company is dot co, and because he offered me the cheapest um, available name, even compared to dot ng. Correct. So and also we have this thing where people don't want to be, they don't want to be seen That's as local. Sick. You know, so 
um, they want to be seen as global. global. And if I put .ng, then I'm seen as a Nigerian company, and it might affect how I'm being perceived internationally. So can you help address those two? Oh, okay. Um, so the, the, the first one is um, cost. the cost. So, so you see, Nigeria is among the first countries in the world to open up. You know, if we look at CCTL days, all the other countries dot, dot something, dot something. Mm. For example, dot UK is not open. You have to buy dot co. Mm. .uk, mm. .org, .uk. The same thing with us, South Africa, .co, .za, .za. correct. Nigeria is among the first set of people. We are registering .com, .ng, and the rest. We are the first set of people, apart from Canada and one other country, I think, that joined the bandwagon to open up the second level domain. So you can easily buy anything .ng. So when we opened up, we realized that we need to make revenue. It's a premium now. It's a premium service because people buy .com, .ng. They don't want the names to be longer because it's premium we had to increase the price. So that's why the price of .ng directly is expensive. But if you want to buy .com.ng, it's as low as, for example, as 1,000 Naira for that domain. And we give opportunity for people that want to register their names. You have name.ng, which is as low as 400 Naira. Per month or per year? Per year. Per year. Wow. Per annum. Correct. So for the .ng, it's a bit on the high side. We were selling it at that time as high as around 15,000 Naira. Mm. So what we did was recently that was reviewed downward by almost 50%. The mm. idea is to encourage Nigerians to buy that. So for affordability, because initially our operational cost was on the high side and the registered domains are small. As we increase the registrations and we have strategic cash reserve now as a not-for-profit organization, the objective now has changed to ensure that all Nigerians can afford a .ng. So we dropped the cost yeah. of the .ng and anybody can, can, can buy it now. And we are selling these things through registrars. It's not Nira directly. There are Nigerian companies, about 73 of them, that can now do the business. So you can reach out to any one of them and you can register a yeah. .ng. And the reception she talked about, I like, I like it to touch that, address the, that. The reception, seeing yeah. like a Nigerian company. Yes. So, so, so this is one of the major problems in Nigeria and African countries. And to be honest with you, if we, we don't change that paradigm, we are in trouble. Because if, basically Nigeria is an importation country now. Almost all the containers that come, substantial part of them go back empty. empty. Uh, the same thing with the internet. We are more of download Done. than offload. Mm. So if we are not patriotic, we will never change. And therefore what I would do is I always encourage Nigerians to buy their own brand, the .ng. Initially, of course, you might not find it as fancy as the rest. But if we are proud of ourselves, Consistent. gradually, consistently, that will change. Korea, for example, decided they need to change that paradigm. And they have empowered companies and companies like Samsung are all coming on board now. And they re recently, they want to go into the movie industry. They spent $5 billion. And you can see Korean movies are, are all over the mm, place. Yes, so, they, so, 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 so that is it. <laughs> Nigerians too must adopt that .ng and be proud of it for, for us to make progress. So I get it now. So it's a buy, Ni buy Niger to grow correct, Niger thing. Correct, correct. Yes, but um, in what ways, apart from dropping the price, are we trying to get Nigerians on board? Because like mm. now, until you explain the fact that this identity thing, it has to be me that wants to be affiliated with a, a .ng, you know, not someone else trying to tell me, you know, determine what my brand should be. So in what other ways, apart from what you have just said and dropping the price, can we get Nigerians to get on board so, so we can help? So, so it's, it's uh, constant sensitization, and that's why we are here. We are all over the place trying to sensitize them to buy the .ng. And the second thing is, honestly, the ease of registration. If you want to buy a .ng, you buy with your Naira card, and it's a local transaction. Mm. If you want to buy a foreign domain, yes. right now, with your Naira card, you can't pay because all the banks yes. have blocked just that. You have to pay and, the dollar and, card. And, and that's capital flight. If you're paying in US dollars, that is Nigerian money Going leaving out. the shows out of Nigeria. So the ease of, of doing transaction is what is, we are also encouraging. So that you use your local card and you make payment and it's... Um, and we also walk all over the world. It, you know, exactly. You, you get the same traction the that you get. The same visibility. Yeah. As I said, technically, it's exactly the same thing. There is no difference whatsoever between so the .com and our, 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 our Gmails, our Yahoo mails? Because oh, would, that, would that affect would this, uh, if we change our domain or how does it affect our emails? No, no, no. You see, for every domain you buy, you can have email addresses under it. So if you are using a Gmail, of course, Gmail is, is a free yeah. email services that right. they offered. The idea is they use it for marketing purpose. They get their revenue from marketing. But if you want to have your own company and your own identity, of course, you must have an email under 
that uh, identity. So your Gmail is operating completely independent. When you register your own name now on that name.ng, you can have an email address. Like info at that. Mariah, yeah, uh, exactly. Brown. Info, you can put your surname at morayo.name.ng, for mm -hmm. example. So it's your own specific brand and you are in control of it. There is no adverts and is um, is protected. It's your own. You have uh, the rights over it. Then so just email. So are there like gov is there like government policy or government policy you would like to ask government to push to make it maybe almost compulsory <laughs> for government corporations to yeah. use it? Okay. It actually links to so there was, so there was a um, there's a question there's this question about the fact that every every Nigerian registers their company and we have to have tin number so we are tax we have a tax code. Correct. So. Immediately I register my company, I automatically have .ng. So I might be less willing to go and start paying for .com since automatically I have a .ng. Are you working on that? Yes. Yeah, so so, so two, two things you have raised now. One, the government mandate, as she has mentioned, and mm. you are talking about uh, maybe when you register, maybe through CAC to automatically mm. have a name. For government mandate, yes, government over the years have been trying to ensure that all government parastatals agencies have adopted the .ng. And the adoption was slow, but recently we have seen significant improvement. With the current minister, there is a new policy that ensures um, all government websites are using .gov.ng. And they're not only that, they are hosting that information locally. Because when you have content, we have a website, it's just the window, right? Mm. And then you have the information on that yeah. website. And that information is residing somewhere. So most of the time, people say it's in the cloud. But cloud is a physical infrastructure mm. that mm. resides somewhere. Mm. So government agencies are now mandated to ensure that all their information reside within Nigerian data centers. Mm. That Our ensures data, data sovereignty. So there is a policy uh, uh, before mm. like that. And to be honest with you, this policy um, is from the Federal Executive Council. And we have the National Information Technology uh, Development Agency, NIDA, that are ensuring that that policy is implemented. So NIRA is part of NIDA towards ensuring that that policy is implemented, all government agencies to have .gov.ng. So as you, as you propose, is already in the pipeline. And I think very soon you will see that all government um, websites are being, are being compliant. All right, let's go, on, we, let's, go, let's go on a break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked, and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting, as the arts are meant to be. Thanks for staying with us. So we're going to continue. Yes, there's a question you wanted to ask. Yes, I already asked the question about yes. making putting in a permanent mandate the same way okay. you have um, TIN, TIN yeah. while you're registering. Through you should TAC. also automatically have that as Is that part possible? of. No, so, so to be honest with you, as I said, we are not for profit organization. We are not encouraging government in any way to compel anybody to use the services of .ng. We are private. We encourage people to participate. And to be honest with you, you can, they said you can take a horse to a river. You can't compel him to drink. So people can buy .ng, and no but not necessarily use it. You have it as a name, but it's not mm. even online. So, so for us, it's for, for, to encourage Nigerians to see the importance of adopting .ng. Okay. And when it comes to that registration, we're trying to collaborate right now with um, CAC. We have reached out to them, Corporate Affairs Commission, to ensure that when Nigerians register a company, mm -hmm. at least they can have options of registering .ng for free, at least for the first year. And we're looking at even at a deeper level to see how that website um, will be, the homepage will be designed for free, and even oh, the hosting wow. will be done for free. So when you register oh. a company, automatically you have the name, the, the design of the homepage, plus email addresses, and the hosting within wow. a Nigerian data center as a bundle service. Wow. After the second, during the second year, maybe if you want, you can renew the service at a fee. 
That's yeah, our yeah, own. Yeah. Would you have Earlier when you were on for free. Yeah. Uh, it that sounds really good. I mean, people watching it's now. Attentive. Correct. Yeah. So, yeah. so we are working on that, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that also makes me think, like, I know you say you're a, a not-for-profit organization, Correct. but you're willing to do all these things for free, was the catch. But I just <laughs> wanted to say, when you were explaining earlier, you mentioned things like um, local data hosting and data sovereignty. What's the connection with the .ng? Okay, so the, the .ng is it's just the name, domain name, the window that connects you to the internet. And well, as, I, as I said earlier, if you go, that URL is just a link. Behind it, there is so much content and information. Yeah. So the data sovereignty you're talking about is, for example, when you have a Nigerian government website. Lagos State, for example, the governor has an email address and the website is hosted out of Nigeria, right? When he sends an email to his personal assistant, that email traverse, you know that Nigeria is connected to the internet through submarine cables, subsea cables. Mm -hmm. And it will traverse those subsea cables all the way to where the hosting of that Lagos State website is. Possibly is in America, for example. It will go all the way to America. When the PA wants to see that email, he has to go all the way to the server in America to, to fetch it. On the process, the information has traversed different countries to reach America. So when you're talking about data sovereignty, it means that countries, the countries that that fiber passes through actually if drop, can intercept yeah. and read the communication. Hmm. There was a PRISM um, project in America where there was a time, the leak of documents. And this is how yeah. governments usually find ways Felix. to look at what other countries are doing. So for data sovereignty, it's important that all government websites, all of them, including state and local government, resides within Nigeria. And to be honest with you, that's for the security aspect. When you, but you look at the data localization, and, and it's related to the data sovereignty. If you host your information outside Nigeria, for you, you have to go out there to fetch it, mm -hmm. right? But if it's local within Nigeria, you have shortened the distance. It doesn't have to go through the submarine cable for 10,000 kilometers. And because it's local, it's closer to you, it's faster. And because it's closer to you, it's cheaper. You don't longer need to pay the transport. Because those submarine cables, people invest as high as six, seven hundred million dollars to lay the submarine cables all the way to Europe. So when you localize, internet is cheap. That's why people travel to America and other European countries say, well, internet is very cheap. Why? Because the information mm. is within In their country. own country. Russia right now, you can't block them because substantial part of Russian content is it's within Russia. Russia. Mm. Oh. So you can't bro block them. Even if you disconnect them from the internet, Russia yeah. will be able to survive because they have their, their own internet. So these are some of the advantages. It drops the cost because wow. The cost of data will significantly drop because you don't need to go outside. Because you are patronizing local data centers, your information in Nigeria, you give opportunity for those data centers to flourish. Oh. You give them opportunity to employ more hands. You give the local people opportunity to have the relevant to skills to manage those servers Mission and the so data advanced. centers. <laughs> yes. So, 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 so you create an entire ecosystem yeah. out Within. of that. Mm -hmm. Because when we, a lot of people think it's just the cloud, so they put their information on the cloud. But the cloud is somewhere in the world. And that cloud is raining US dollars somewhere. So wow. if you bring back the cloud into your country. You rain it to my you, country. Exactly. So that's what we, 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 are, we, are, we, are, we keep pushing. So the .ng is just the window. But we are encouraging more so people if I, to So if I'm hosting a, a .ng domain with one, my company, can I migrate it to a different company? Exactly. So, 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 so when you have a .ng, we have about 73 registrars. And those are options. So you can move from one person to another. Because, you know, this is business. We can't say you have to stick to one. Some, some businesses are serious, some are not serious. But we encourage all Nigerians to become registrars of .ng. So if you want to move, you can move. All you need to just do is go to register.ng. All the serious registrars are there, and you can move from one person to the other. I have a silly question. Yes, please. please don't be upset. I'm <laughs> no, just no. getting educated for the no, first no, time. No, 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 no. So I noticed all. that when we get to the search in engine Google, and sometimes you put in some things that are local to us, information that you should get, but you will not get it. You get it either from America, the UK, but the Nigerian stories are hard to find. Could it have anything to do with not localizing our data? No, 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 no. Okay. Those are two different things. You see, the issue is we don't do much research, and even if we do, it's, it's not available. For, so, for example, almost all the thesis that students are doing in Nigeria, researchers for PhD, for masters, where is it? In other countries, it's available. You log into a portal, you can see all the thesis. Here, you can't see it because everyone, each one is printed in hard copy and is stored somewhere. So most of these researchers, apart from 
for example, Nigerian Bureau of Statistics and the rest that are making information available out there on the internet. The problem is that that information is not digitized. And most of these researches are done actually by government and by educational institutions. And those in the educational institutions do not have sufficient internet connection. They don't even know how to go about it. So that information is not there. Mm -hmm. So that's another entirely that different, different uh, mm. problem. Mm. Uh, another stupid question. No. <laughs> uh, uh, Donald Trump said that Africa, we are just, he's just, they are just managing us that if they like, they will just remove us from the internet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we will not have internet. That's why I think we should do. So if we register with .ng, do you have that, how Donald Trump can part. stop us now <laughs> from having access to internet okay. when they are tired? So, so, so let me tell you the truth. America cannot, before now, Internet was invented from America, and it was out of what is called Defense Advanced Research Project Agency for, for security reasons. Then later it became um, global as internet. So America, we are in charge of, there is what is called, if you whatever name you search, you see in your handbook now, if you dial the name of somebody, mm. the number automatically comes in and dials. So on the internet, it's also numbers that are working. So when you dial any for example, a government website, legostate.gov.ng, is translated into numbers and it goes on the internet. So those servers that are translating the phone book of the internet is controlled by American government. So over the years, when the internet becomes so big and other countries are joining, then you have you heard of what is called a global internet forum? So, 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 yes, so, so, so Internet Governance Forum, Internet Governance. We, we do it in Nigeria. Right now, there is next one is taking place in Addis Ababa, I think, in November. Mm -hmm. Global Internet, um, for, uh, uh, Internet Governance Forum. China, the rest of the countries insisted that that control must be given out from America to the global Internet community. An organization was created called ICANN, Internet Cooperation for Assigned Name and Numbers. If those, that organization at that time want to shut down the internet for any country, they will just tweak, tweak, and the internet will be done because you will not have the transmission of those names. But right now, it's in the hands of everyone, including Nigerian government to manage that. So American government cannot stop the internet from Nigeria. The only thing they can do, if, if they look at your major service providers, in Nigeria, you have internet ISPs, right? Mm -hmm. You know ISPs are in different tiers. There is what is called ISP tier three. Mm. the ones that sell internet to you, so in the they buy the an internet from ISP tier two. Mm -hmm. Those are the submarine cable operators that mm -hmm. take it to Europe. And then there is what is called ISP tier one. Those are global networks. So what they can do to disconnect you is to ensure that those global networks, as long as the American companies supplying Nigerian tier two, mm -hmm. tier two supplying tier three, they will say disconnect that. And that's what they did for Russia. Oh. Cogent networks is one of the largest networks in Russia and the American government stopped them from supplying internet to Russia, wow. for example. Mr. That is what they can do, but not completely stop it, but stop the Mr. service Rodman, providers. In Nigeria, we have a trust issue. Mm. We don't, as much as this, it sounds very patriotic yes. to support these kinds of um, things, but the, the average Nigerian doesn't trust the Nigerian system. So they'll say, I'd rather my domain in, in, in .com because tomorrow, this, um, this no, not draconian... This and draconian <laughs> government can say, okay, well, because we want to shut down this, so we're shutting down all the companies, all the SME, you know, they are afraid mm -hmm. that any government can just come and just shut down because that's what they do in Nigeria sometimes. So how do we believe in this, as, as patriotic as it sounds, some Nigerians are still thinking, ah, I'd rather not. So, so to be honest with you, you're absolutely right. But we are here in you, with you in Nigeria. Nigerian government blocked Twitter. Yep. And Twitter is not local, is it? Is it on that .ng? <laughs> so Nigeria, as a, as a government, if they decide to drop it. the entire internet, they can do that, right? But it's dr draconian, as you said, and it's not something that is being encouraged. So there is this trust deficit between the citizens and government. Yeah. And it's not nira.ng, and it's not, it's all of us collectively that should try and build up. And that's why, to be honest with you, Nigerians should participate in politics. They should have their PVC, ensure that they vote the right candidates. Because as long as you allow the wrong people to be at the helm of affairs, certainly the wrong decisions will be taken. So it's a collective thing that all Nigerians must do, and to be honest with you, it starts from buying your dot ng, yeah. buying your local product. If you see some abashu, uh, uh, buy. Yeah. If you see a nonsoka, you have opportunity to buy, <laughs> buy, because that is the only way to change it. And this is where government are supposed to drive this. But unfortunately, the National or Orientation Agency are not doing that much. Mm. But they need to sensitize us. We need to be patriotic for us. We don't have any other place. But so you are saying that government can just 
Bitcoin's internet. You see, all they need <laughs> they to, want to what they, they do want. is <laughs> let the regulators, Nigerian Communication Commission, can write to any of the ISPs to say shut down this website. And because they are they, if they are mandated to do it. Sir, yeah. off your mic, off your mic, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you we have to wrap up. Is that all? I think our time is up. And it's not only in Nigeria, it's everywhere in the world. All regulators in the world have these powers. And that's why they are fighting for democracy. If you go to Korea now, South Korea, I mean, yeah, yeah, North, yeah, Korea. North Korea, for example, all this access to websites is not there. So government are powerful. And it is not government of, of Nigeria. All the governments in Even the world China. are powerful, exactly. Mm -hmm. you but it's democracy to... gradually that comes in, and eventually you see the right decisions are taken. Up. Thank you so much, Mr. Rajan. Thank you so much. 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 We have many questions for you. So many. I'm delighted to be here. Next time. I'm available anytime. I'm available. Thank you so much. That's all we can take on this segment. When we come back, we move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Communications were all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blasts, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Scripts on the prompter, script, check. Are we set in the VCR? All time and place, VCR, check. Clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are. Plans all set, 120 minutes of hot entertainment. 
We are ready for the mission. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Doubt and fear it doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked, and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush. Thanks for staying with us. So, there was a story that caught our attention that happened in Lagos State about uh, a bus driver who was stabbed to death. What happened was, I think was on the way to Ekwe, he had run down a cow. Uh, so the headsmen were passing, and um, he obviously was on a speed, and then he hit a cow, and the cow was crushed to death. Two of the herders brought out their knives and stabbed him to death. They have since been arrested, but this has brought up the conversation again on the worth of a human life in Lagos State. And what happens when you run into a cow? Is this something that you lose your life for? These are conversations that we'd like to have this morning. You can call us on 081-270-53687, You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. This happened in Lagos. It didn't happen in the north. It didn't happen um, somewhere far away. You know, we like to take these stories when they are so far away and say, ah, oh, imagine. Rural area. Yeah, the rural area. No, but they don't know anything. Lagos. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on this? Because um, we're not saying the life of a cow is insignificant either. You know, yes, a cow is important. A cow is an animal. It's the creation of God. No, don't look at me like that. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to moderate and host this. <laughs> I can't. You know, a cow, yes, is a living thing. So it's the same way you crush an insect. You know, I, I tell my kids, don't kill the file. Just open the window, let it go out. You know, just you know, get get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to my mind mm. is barbaric. Mm. Ba oh barbaric God. and how barbaric we are becoming more and more um, violent on a daily basis. The, it just reminded me of what happened with in Lekki, like this is on a Mirati way. How can you burn a human being on a Mirati way in Lagos? Then we see this one. You stab a human being in Lagos. Like, are we, what's going on? In a yellow bus too. You know? And and my thought was, these are Nigerians. Mm. The headers are Nigerians. They are the Nigerians we did not raise to value human life. Who feel the cow is more important to them and you just killed my cow? These are Nigerian men, human beings. If they went to school, if they studied agriculture in the university, they would probably become, they would be headers, but they would probably, they wouldn't be headers. They would become some mega farmers. They would have their massive um, ranch, they would find a more humane way to deal with what they are doing. They will commercialize the business in a profitable way. Murayo, there was a day, I think it was about three months ago, Mazen and I were in the car, and we saw two cows running on the expressway, and the headers, one of them was running, After. then I was on the bike, trying to catch up with the Okada, with the cow. the cow. I was scared, because one, this cow was running, if anything happens to the car, one, it will damage my car. Two, my life is at risk. Mm -hmm. But I did nothing to put that car on the road. 
and the car had no right to be on the expressway. Mm. But here is the car running around, and cars were swerving around. And, he, and a herder the jumped car. on the bike to chase it because that, that, that car was so important to that herder. So in my head, I was just like, not, not, what, 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 where, where are we going to? This is not sustainable. We can't continue like this. And this news just brought so it wasn't actually the driver that, that, that was stabbed. It was the conductor, the yeah, bus, bus conductor, conductor that, that was stabbed to death. The driver fled. Um, you what are your thoughts, Mariam, when this. you heard the story? So, uh, first of all, it just seems that when you do something, when something is done wrong and there's no repercussion and people can get away with it, wherever in the country they get away with it, over time, it will happen in a Lagos, as you said. It will yeah. now become so commonplace that people believe it's their right to meet out violence on other people because of perceived um, infraction done against them. So that is why you say, oh, this is not in the North. But yes, but in the North, when it has happened, that it has caused war mm. among tribes, among farmers and herders, what, has, what, what have other Nigerians seen you know, to, to, to stop it? to discourage people from doing that. And now they brought it into places like this. And that is why we're talking of people burning a girl in university because she said something that was alleged to be blasphemous. And we haven't heard anything over that since then. Because you're sort of giving people the right to carry out justice by themselves, jungle justice by themselves. What is so um, sad about this is also the fact that many eyewitnesses say that well, plus the eyewitness is that the boy, the man was screaming and crying. There were people there, no one came to help him. There were two police checkpoints there and a police station just around the corner. And everybody just watched as he was lynched to death. And that's the same reaction we got for the um, young man on the bike as well that was lynched to death. And people said no one just came to their rescue. So also there's this mentality where people are, is, you know, they're not helping People, they're just allowing Escape. evil, bad people get away with evil. But so, if you go, we, we all condemn the governors, the governor of Zambara, say, saying that we should have people carrying arms. If somebody, if one of those boys had, had a gun, he would have shut down the herder. Yeah. Right. No, no, no. I'm, 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 not, I'm just telling you the but two sides. There are two point. sides of this conversation. No, the same way if, if the herder was carrying a gun, he could have just shot that instead of stabbing. Then he would have been, he would have also, um, also died. Someone would have killed him too. That's why I, I want to carry it from illegal arms to arm yourself, as far as I know, in this part of the world. To arm yourself. With what? With anything. Whether it is knife, cutlass, gun, anything. Even uh, catapult, wait. Even catapult is illegal in this part of the world. Now, I see police every day. They will stop um, this car that has, what young do you call people. Um, Young people. Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> the windows are brown, uh, tinted window. They will bring everybody down. Check your, check your, check your phone. When, meanwhile, phone is not a, an arm. Mm. But all these people, they walk with arms, with knives. Everywhere. Everywhere. Those Okadas, when you lift their seat up, they have knives inside. The, you know those ones that push, that carry carts. The, the, the carts. Mm. I was driving on this um, Ibadan Express Road one day, and this trailer, just I don't know if he even touched him. He just maybe uh, he was just destabilized. Do you know that guy dropped his cart, picked up? If you see the big dagger hey. Hey, that this guy carried, Jeez. myself and Theo were in the car like this. Hey, run to the trailer, and he jumped on top of the trailer. YK, you know what you're saying right now, just remind hmm. just two days ago, YK, I was driving Alakwere, this here, this is our express here, towards Magodo here, and there's a, there's a bush on the, in, the, in the middle of the road. There was a guy, I was at the back seat. There was a guy, he was inside the bush, he had a knife, a dagger. He dagger, he was kind of sharpening it. And my driver just said, I just saw, he was sharpening his dagger, and I'm thinking to myself, these are the people that come and arrest people at night. They always have. They always have it, in this Lagos. So, the truth is that, we are Every, people, are, people are already carrying arms, mm. but you and I are not carrying arms, but they come to attack you and I. So that's what Governor Matawale is saying, that maybe we should not, not, not all of you should get arms, but let me license you, let me know, check, do a test for you, make sure that you are emotionally um, in the right sense of mind, 
make sure I can trace what I have. I know the gun I've given to you before you carry gun. So I know that you have given gun. You are not that your 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 senses are not all, you're all right. Maria, once again, I would not agree with that. But let's. Go I'm just telling you what he said. Yes. <laughs> just telling you what he said. Hey, I don't agree with what he said. Okay. Um, let's go to this issue. But we can't see the why he owners. Said it. Of the, as long as why. we don't, as long as we don't penalize owners of the cow, you know these cows are not owned by the headers. Yeah, there is someone very rich, comfortable in his house who owns the cows. Who has probably armed who, the headers? Who has probably no. thre threatened the headers that the number of cows must be delivered mm -hmm. to the place where the cows must get to. Okay. And the cow, the, the header now lost a cow and is wondering how am I going to, his violent nature comes out, mm -hmm. he has the ammunition to carry out his action, he should be penalized as well as the vicarious liability, the owner of the cow. I don't legal know how, why the owner the of the owner cow. Of it's the just cow. like the owner of the trailer. Because the owner of the trailers also need to be held accountable when they are, the, the container fall off. Because the owner of the cow okay. knows that I'm liable for the cows mm. that get damaged by the header. I will tell my driver, don't follow one way. Don't try yourself. Because when anything happens, what well, you're me, Should these cows be on the road? That's it. Of course. Should so they be on the road? So, so the owners of the cows will be made liable for the fact that the cows, cows are, are yes, on the road. But unfortunately, you cannot blame the owner of the cow for the murder committed by the header. You see, you can, no, 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 no. no, 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 well, I don't know what that means, but you cannot, you know, he, that what person would have to face the charges for the murder that he has committed. Mm. But if that cow was on the road or just moving about where it's not meant to, that is the owner's responsibility as well. Mm. And then, of course, it brings to um, bear the conversation about ranching. Is it not enough evidence right now? that we need to do this thing properly. This is just, in Lagos, it's not as bad as some other states in the north. You will just see them, you will park your car and stop. Maria, and they cross you and I were in this Lagos road. when we saw a cow on Third Mainland Bridge. I, with my own Koroko right, I saw it myself. A cow on Third Mainland Bridge. Okay, so it's I saw so, so I mean, this happened about a few years ago. On Third Mainland Bridge, this and we all year. slowed down. Yes, yeah. you stop. This I, is, and yes, then so they'll you, cross. This year, it happened on this hour, um, um, by this uh, Alausa, mm. it was Alausa. Yes, yes, the car was on this side. Later, the car was on the other side <laughs> of the road. The car was running around for his own life. Mm. But no, it's normal in Abuja. They but, see but the cows another, on the road. Yes. There, there's another thing also that the owners of these cows do not put into consideration. These animals have been known to hurt children sometimes. Oh, cows? Yes. Really? The horns. Ah. Some of them will run after little kids. And As if they're in the uh, villages, uh, not in the No, 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 don't say that. But those are the things that you should put in place. I mean, when you're ever having a conversation about this ranching, if you just have these animals, just because they're animals, they don't know, just have these animals just running around and then they cause harm. In this case, the harm was caused to the cow. <laughs> what happens when the cow causes the death of another okay, person? No, who, who, who I, Apparently, because I was listening to the radio as well, apparently the driver that hits the cow was seriously injured. Oh, he was seriously I mean, injured. He was, he was going at the speed also. He was what? going at the... He was on the road. A car yeah. running on the road. Slowly. If you don't drive... A car is not supposed to be running on the road. But the cow could, the cow could have... So the cow caused the accident? Yes. yes. We don't know that for a fact. Uh -huh. The car was on it was in the road. The car was... The, the driver but the, the car, car, the car was supposed to be on the main road first. Okay, the no, cow should not be on the main road. That's but the driver should not hit the cow either. No, that can't The cow, work. the driver shouldn't have hit the what cow. What if it is the cow that ran over the driver? He's <laughs> not working, right? Don't yeah, worry. Don't worry. I don't, I yeah. <laughs> but you know, there have been times, they show it, like, um, on National Geographic, where, you know, they're trying to push for the protection of animals. Yes. And the species. That's, that's important. But you're on the road, and there's an animal right in front of you, and you need to make two choices. Either you ram into that animal mm. or ram into a group of people on the side of the road. What would you do? You kill yourself because you won't ram into because you just try to divert it at a speed. You can lose your life because the car will flip over. Mm. So I can get that. So you, those are the so options the driver has. I want to talk about implementation of rules. So we have, you know, we have lots of rules. Plenty that we don't implement. Like in Lagos, we actually Lagos State unveiled. I think it was two years ago this amazing plan for ranching. It's supposed to be no cows within Lagos. The whole of States. Southwest, I think all the governors because agreed there was, that there we was don't this want. amazing plan on paper. We, we went, it was a food, it was this, I think it was a food, they were launching a sustainability pro, pro, program for Lagos where we will sustain ourselves, our meat would come from Lagos and all of mm, this amazing thing. Year. We're going to do it in Ekpe. There was a place in Ekpe where you can get a farmland mm. and you, you will rear the feed for the cow. So, so they will have the cattle, will have their cattle, it was an amazing plan, but implementation process and the time in between. And when we do 
a mass implementation for one month and then two months down the line, nobody remembers. But the Kofi, your implementation is not reaching the herder. You see, we have to, we, we, all this English we are speaking, sometimes it doesn't get to the people that need to know. Somebody needs, have, somebody needs to inform. Somebody needs to inform that herder. I don't need to inform that. that I, no, no. I somebody of the cows. Somebody needs to inform. To okay, because so, for some reason, the her, the herder feel like mm. this cow is so important. I must not tell my ogre that this cow died. You that you killed the cow, you must pay for it with Good. your life. No. So somebody must educate that herder. So whose responsibility is it is to educate? The owner of the cow. The, the owner of the cow. Okay, what if the owner of the Why cow is also... Why didn't you just sell the cow as meat? Exactly. Why didn't you get money? No, once you kill a cow, you can't sell it. You can sell it. But if someone caused the sick. death of the animal, you can ask for money for the, for the cause. Not to kill the person. But, you, but why would you think that killing the person is the right... I also think that when you hold the person accountable, I'm the owner, I'm the one paying the headers. I let the header know that, see, whatever you're doing, don't enter express. Whatever you're doing, don't do this one. Don't kill somebody. Because we, we, I, I have my staff. My staff go to sites. You get angry with them. I say, don't fight this person. No. We don't know what is in the person's mind. Just wait. Let's resolve the issue amicably. Mm. Because I've already groomed my staff mm. to know how to respond mm. to issues. Because I'm responsible for if anything happens to my staff or if my staff commits any crime. But well, we know so that's, that's not how same. that's not how header employment works. Yeah, exactly. So you own the cows. You are not you are going to the headers because they have better information on how to take care of the cows than you. So you're not saying anything that what these headers the... are saying, we're teaching you how to do it. Unless we have a system where there's ranching and putting these headers in a place where they stay, and then you can educate and train these people. A lot of the headers are, whether we like it or not, largely uneducated. And this is how they have headed for so long. We need to make this conversation about ranching more seriously. We need to take it more seriously because it's not only about the farmer headers, because a lot of times we've thought it's about this group of people. It's really not our business, but it's coming into our cities yes, now, now and causing all sorts of fights and killings. This is but there was a fight between the driver, actually, and the herder. So... I think he had hit the cow and there was a back and forth. So mm. something ensued before the stabbing took place. Mm. It wasn't as if he just killed and then I went to go and stab. Something had mm. happened um, that well, caused well, what the... What Mariam said is extremely important. Because Mariam said that we, we see um, header farmer clash where the um, fa farmers poison the yeah. cattle. And they, they poison because that. they come to their farm and, and eat their, their stuff. Mm -hmm. So you want, you, you, buy, you do, actually for Gary, that one I was, I saw... With my two koro koro eyes, um, I was coming cows. from a Goma show. Cows going to eat people's cassava. They put the cassava down to dry, and then the, the cattle was going to eat it off. And I also saw, and I must, I must, witness, I must state that I saw the headers trying to push the cows away from eating the cassava. Mm -hmm. But they went there. So the, what people now, farmers now do is they will now poison some of the cassava. The cow will go and eat it, and then the cow dies. And the header comes and says. People poison my cow, and then there's and this wolf. attack back and forth. Yeah. Ranching, like Simple. very obvious solution. Ranching is the way we need to stop doing stop this. It. Stop it. In any part of the world, Western world, I don't know about Africa, or I, but even, even, Africa. even in Ghana, hey, yeah. I've never seen any cow walking on the road in Ghana. Successful ranching. I've, I, I've, I've never seen any cow walking on the road in Ghana. Why are we like this? I go to. Uh, Bene, Bene, Republic of Bene. I've never seen any cow walking on the road. Please, ranching. Why are cows still walking on yeah. the road? Even Abuja, why here? I sent Abuja and I oh, can even cow, understand cow Abuja. Abuja. I saw, I saw cows. I, I, I can even understand Abuja that they are coming up from bush, from some sort of bush, and then found themselves on the express. I don't understand how cows are on Third Milan Bridge. I saw it too. Did they swim they from the lagoon and yeah. then get, you know, so I just don't know where those cows are coming from. They fell from there. There has to be a ranch in places like Lagos. Uh, and they strayed. Those cows strayed. It's obviously. a different stop. Before, when, on our way home from Shrine, we used to meet them, the cows on the road. Maybe because we now go home earlier, but we will meet them on the road. Plenty. Plenty oh. like this. Can you imagine? And up you up. must wait. I'm because happy. Have you, have you ever seen we have cow don't vex? No. You, 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 like maybe that's yeah, why this cow was running up and down. They, they, they get annoyed. I, yes, no. yeah. When really? the cow gets annoyed, the header can't move it. Away. I've never yes. seen a cow. They, they go crazy. They are they they dangerous. Can kill ah. someone. Sometimes, said they will stand and sit inside the gutter. Nothing the header will do. The cow will not come out. How come you know so much about this? Like, <laughs> I've been seeing them now. Where have you been seeing them? I'm not right. in Lagos. <laughs> yeah, in Lagos. Uh, because I have rage on you, 61. Yeah, uh, many experience. Many years of experience. I've seen cow red vex and sat down inside the gutter. Okay, okay. give me here. <laughs> Like it, like it. It's true. <laughs>
Like, it is real. That's all we can say. But our hearts go out to our the, to the people no, who have no, lost no, life. No I'm happy that the, the herders have been arrested. Yes. They're in the police station right now. Just that justice this is Nigeria. Uh, which, which kind of justice is there? They, it, it, After a while, they let them go. I'd like to even hear their own experience. Like, Mary yeah. said, we, are, we haven't heard about Deborah's uh, kid last week. Ah, yeah. We, have, we haven't heard of the one that was. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. Like to put matter on cap on that carpet inside We have to run. That's all we can take on the show. So sad. Um, so sad indeed. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. The following is a paid presentation by ShopX TV. You're watching ShopX TV, home to some of the most popular international brands in Africa, including Hover Chef, MyFit Jeans, Genie Bra, the Power XL Air Fryer, the Nutri Bullet, and more. ShopX TV has brought you the latest innovations in 